Well done for investing just a few minutes of your time to find out how best you can keep your top customers. So in this short video, I'm going to reveal to you the two areas you need to concentrate on right now to ensure your customers not only stay with you, but refer you to their contacts. As you're probably aware, the cost of getting a new customer is eight times more money and eight times more time than retaining your existing customers. So if this is the case, why are we spending so much time and energy on lead generation at the expense of ignoring our existing client base? Here's another thought provoking question for you. If you knew there was a high chance that you'll lose your top customers over the coming weeks and months ahead, what would you do about it? The reason I ask this question is that we will all lose customers, end of story. Some will move on because they feel they can get a better service elsewhere. Some will have no need for your product or service in the future. Or if you're selling to businesses, the client might just sell up to somebody new who you haven't got a relationship with. There are indeed heaps of reasons why we'll all lose customers. And some of these reasons I appreciate we can't do anything about at all. However, if we can do anything to ensure we retain clients and save time, energy and money in the process, why wouldn't we spend a little time thinking about that right now? So you'll see on the screen now a formula which you may not have seen before. And this formula is this, results times relationship equals retention plus referrals. So what do I mean by that and how will knowing this help you? Well, the way I look at it is this, your current customers will each fall into one of the following brackets. Bracket A, they're getting the product or service they expect from you and are happy with what they're receiving. And at least one staff member in your organization has got a great relationship with them as well. Bracket B, they're getting the results they want from working with you, but your relationship with them is purely transactional. Or bracket C, they've got a great relationship with you, they're not really getting the product or service they're hoping for, or worse still, D, they've neither got the relationship or the results they're looking for from working with you. So now we can see our business hopefully through the eyes of our customers. I've got a quick and easy five minute job for you to do to help you identify the areas of improvement you can make right now and save yourself the heartache of losing profitable business. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to list your top 10 customers. Next to each customers, I'd like you to put them in one of the four brackets above. And then for the customers that are in brackets B, C and D, write an action plan next to each one. In other words, something simple you can do right now to improve either the results or the relationship they're getting from working with you. So once complete, you'll now have a level of visibility and clarity as to what you need to do right now to ensure your customers not only stay with you, but refer you to people they know. As simple as this technique may be, this forms only one of the nine step process we take clients through to help them build a business that could work without them. Now, if you're still unsure exactly how you can improve the retention of your clients, click the button below and book in a call with me. Or alternatively, you've got all this nailed already and you're just looking to build a business that could work without you in the future. In which case, click the button below, book in a virtual coffee to discuss further. I'm looking forward to speaking with you.